Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. KSA 2024 counseling process has already started and we are in the phase of option entry, right? One of the most most important step of the counseling process which will decide which college and which course you are going to get. So, if in case you are eligible for multiple disciplines, we know KEA give like through KSET you can take admissions to many courses like engineering, architecture, pharma courses, farm science and then you have agricultural courses, many things are there, right? So in case you are eligible for multiple disciplines, how, do, how should you do the choice fully? That is what is the content of this video. So all those students who are planning or who are eligible for multiple disciplines, Please watch this complete video so that you don't have any confusion in the option entry. So now let us start here. Some important instructions and some examples also will be discussing. So the first one is um, the candidate will be allowed to enter all the options in the discipline to which he or she is eligible. So for example, you are eligible for engineering. You can uh, enter all the options available in engineering. If you are eligible for medical, you can enter all the options that is available in medical. Candidates shall enter the options for all the discipline at once. This is very important. There will be no separate round, uh, separate uh, option entry for medical, for architecture, for farm science, for pharmacy, uh, pharma courses. There is no separate option entry. This is the only option entry and you have to enter for all the disciplines at this point of time only. Okay. If the candidate is eligible for multiple disciplines that is both for med, uh, medical, dental and engineering or for medical, dental, farm science courses, B pharma options can be exercised for all the discipline in the same entry form. That is what we have just discussed. In this same entry form only you have to fill the options for all the disciplines and the courses. Now how to do that? So, here the candidate has to select the discipline in the option entry form. So, for example, you want to uh, select a course from engineering discipline. So, first you have to select the engineering. Upon selection of a discipline, the entry form displays the list of colleges in case of medical, dental, farm science courses, B pharma, pharma D and for the architecture courses. So, once you select the option, uh, select the discipline. So, there are three things actually. See, one is discipline then you have colleges and next is courses okay so once you select the discipline the corresponding colleges and courses based on that discipline will be shown to you after that in case of engineering discipline the entry form display the list of colleges with their engineering courses the candidate has to enter the priority number in front of the displayed college or course to which they are eligible and are interested. So that is how you have to do the option entry. So once you see the list, so you have to put a priority number and then that like whichever you want the best or you want first that has to be given the first priority. So now here was an example. See you can fill it in this way. This is very important example. Please see here. That means first option may be medical, second option may be also medical, third option may be engineering. Okay. So if you are like two best medical colleges are there you are getting. So how can it be? For example, college 1, medical college 1 is there, medical college 2 is there, medical college 3 is there and engineering college 1 is there. Okay. Now you see you are interested in medical but you are not interested in this third medical college more than the engineering college one. So how you can do it? You can select medical one, then medical two, then engineering option you can give and then again you can give the third medical option. Okay. Fifth option can be architecture, the sixth may be pharma science and so on. So there is no uh, like it is not like that first all the engineering options should be given then all medical options will be given not like that. Whatever is your interest suppose a medical is my first choice these three colleges of medical are my first choice so I will put that. If these three I am not getting and I then I, I want to wish to go for uh, pharma science then I will get the fourth one is pharma. So in this way in the same option entry you have to fill for all the disciplines okay. So you have have the students who are eligible for multiple disciplines they have a lot of choices to fill so please work on all these options just check every every and each and every option that is available check it check their scope and then arrange it in your preference order so now if a candidate is eligible for both medical and engineering discipline and his first desire is the medical stream okay eligible for both medical and engineering but my wish is I want to get medical if not medical I am not getting then I will go for engineering. In that case 
in such cases he has to give as much options as possible for medical okay now the order of preference for medical should be more than the other disciplines okay you should give more choices for medical if you want the medical first now the computer in such case will find the best option as per the rank and allot a seat to the candidate okay so yes this is very important here so i hope it is clear once again i want to summarize you if you have or if you are eligible for more than one discipline okay you have to fill the entry or like you have to fill the preferences for all the uh, disciplines in the same entry form there will be no separate counseling or separate option entry for different different uh, disciplines now suppose you want medical put first medical then if you want engineering then put engineering you can mix and match whatever is your preference order you can give them but the important thing to consider is all these things should be done right now in this round one option entry okay there is no other option entry no other uh, uh, option or chance will be given to you okay so very very crucial thing so please uh check all the courses check all the eligibility check all the opportunities that you are having and then start fill the option entry okay so yes i hope this video was very helpful for you and if you have any doubt regarding the counseling process please comment down we'll definitely address it and even if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you for watching and all the very best for your option entry for kset 2024